Social media. Such a strange place where we all, myself included, are just, are just highlighting the best parts of our lives. When we feel the most confident, when we think that we look our best. Which to some extent makes sense, right? Like, we all want to put our best forward. That's just human nature. I'm not going to choose to burden anybody else or, or ruin your day with my crappy day. You didn't sign up to be my therapist. But I also know that there's a lot of frustration that certain people experience. Uh, in particular on Instagram, I feel like constantly seeing such like heavy curation, seemingly glamorous life. Um, perfect photos, maybe like washboard abs, and I and I totally get that. So kind of turning this in on me, I guess, and kind of reflecting on a lot of the comments that I see come in about me, or really about the image that's projected of me, I, I just want to remind you of something. I have um, a ton of flaws. I think my nose is too big, I have psoriasis all over my skin, I allegedly have a voice that some people find very uh, grating. And as I've talked about in other videos, I have really bad anxiety sometimes. And while this might be me on some days, only a select few days, this is also me, and this is 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 also me. All of these are me. So with only the best of intentions in mind, I thought it would be a really silly and, and, and fun and lighthearted idea to look at some of my Instagram photos that I posted in the past and sort of dissect like the oftentimes humorous realities that actually went behind them, like a bit of behind the scenes, just to get a little bit more real. Okay, the first one. I know some of these fitness pictures may look very nice and curated, but this is only after the photographer that I work with takes like hundreds of photos just to get the right one. Here is a photo that I ended up posting, and here is another photo that we took together of me just completely wiping out, which I thought was kind of funny. I had totally forgotten about this one. And I hope my little workout tips in that photo were worth it because I was limping the whole rest of that photo shoot and the whole rest of the day, really. Now, why try so hard, you might ask? Valid question. I'm of the mindset that if you're gonna choose to hit that follow button, I better be freaking working hard. I better be, I better be putting in, in, in work into the content that I put out and not just putting whatever willy-nilly, you know? I'll take the time, I'll work with a photographer. I've learned a lot about photography over the past year. I've learned a lot about editing, downloaded all the tools, um, bought all the equipment because I feel like I owe it to you guys to put in that effort. Okay, this next one. So I had totally forgotten I even tried to film this video with my mom. We were trying to make a, a very healthy salmon and do this step by step and walk you guys through how to do it. We just completely screwed it up. Now we have to combine the mushroom marinated ingredients. The mushroom marinated ingredients. Is that a separate part of the recipe? Or did we just mess it up? Was that supposed to go in there? Oh my god. You know, it's gonna be yummy because the things you put on that salmon, we really did muck this up. We mucked this up badly. I can't believe we messed that up. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm not gonna drink anymore. Okay, my mom and I are failures at life. <laughs> Cooking My stressful. mom cracks me up. <laughs> it is stressful. Salmon fillet. It is stressful. I, st I stand by that. I think it's called a fillet when it's a fish. <laughs> I don't know. I think we need some Adderall. I think we have some kind of an issue here. So she does not endorse any sort of prescription <laughs> <Well>. drug abuse. <laughs> you know, a skillet. My sweet baby. We're so yeah. bad. I do know what a skillet is. Sam. <laughs> That's really bad. That we can't do that. But I cook every night. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, so that will never be released. And it's just so funny because in my mind, I was like, this is going to be such a nice video, simple step-by-step -step instructions, very professional. I had my collared shirt on and like, it just complete fail. Okay, so this photo was taken in a national park called Tyrona National Park. This was on the coast of Columbia in 2018. Looking at this picture, you know, doesn't, doesn't it look like this guy is just... Hmm, he's just having the best time, drinking fancy drinks, uh, glamorously um, soaking up the sun. You know, this guy must be really enjoying himself here, right? Eh, no. <laughs> I was actually dying on the inside. I was barely just scraping by when I was, you know, with my Argentinian pesos when I was when I was working in Colombia, and I just, I candidly, I just didn't have enough money um, to get to get here. But I really wanted to see it because it looked so beautiful, and so I ended up um, getting there by foot. But little did I know that that actually required like a four hour journey through the jungle, sloshing through mud, um, trekking in like sweltering heat. It was like just completely, completely drenched. We spent about an hour there only to turn right back around and head back inland. So at, at the very end, I asked this girl who I met, this wonderful Colombian girl, to casually snap this photo for me. Oh, also, I'm flexing very, very, very hard in this picture and the lighting happened to be very good. Okay, so the next one. Oh, 
Today I'm eating udon tempura with the. So today. Okay. <laughs> so my friend Jordan and I, he he loves mukbang videos, and so we thought it'd be fun one day to put together a video, um, a mukbang video. And obviously, as you can see, it was a complete fail. And this, needless to say, will probably also never be released. Okay, this this photo, you guys may have seen it on my Instagram. I and I think I've like TBT'd it like probably five times now. I used to think like a few years back that this photo was super cool and adventurous and outdoorsy and um, I had invested in this Lululemon hat that you see me wearing and like I wore the crap out of it for the, for, for the two years I was living in South America just because I don't know I loved it so much and I really didn't have that much money to buy a bunch of other ones so I used this one a lot and in particular in this photo you'll see that I had this hat on really because and only because in this instance I was covering a like massive, massive, massive mosquito bite. I don't think I've ever had a mosquito bite that was bigger than this in my entire life. And this hike was like 11 hours and my head's just like itching the whole time and I had this hat on just to cover it up. So that's the reality behind this picture. And I'm probably not smiling because I was itchy and unhappy. Okay, the next one. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone remembers this, but I did this brand partnership a while back with uh, with the showerhead company to promote this new like massage therapy showerhead that they were rele releasing. I know my narration on this turned out to be pretty cheesy, but my videographer and I worked really, really hard on this video, and he helped me endlessly pulling this together. And in the process, we just got completely drenched, right? Like, you see this video, you're like, oh, he's showering, it's a little sensual, but not too sensual, and he looks relaxed, and... Mmm, just like an at-home spa, like wow, right? No, like I was so, obviously I'm wet because I'm in the shower, right? But like I have a bathing suit on, it is like splashing all over my photographer friend. Um, he has a robe on, he's trying to like protect his camera lens. It's just the whole thing was a, was a mess and like the entire floor was was flooded. I hope that at least one of you saw value in that shower head and that you liked it. Oh, and I just want to say one more thing while, while we're on the topic of ads, this just feels fitting to say. I know that there are a lot of people who seeing ads, especially on Instagram, just kind of like irks them and rubs them the wrong way. First of all, if I had the luxury of not doing sponsored content and not partnering with these brands, I would, but secondly, I also really enjoy doing it because, I mean, this is, if you recall, in some of my other videos I talk about, like, I graduated cum laude with a, with a degree in marketing, so I really, I really love marketing, I love advertising, it's fun for me to do, and like, I love putting in all the hard work, even if it, even if it feels silly or contrived, that goes into making stuff like this. It's really just advertising 101. You know, we've had ads for as long as I can remember, whether it's commercials on TV, or billboards, right? I mean, this is simply a modern day adaptation of it. And, and add to it the fact that I've committed to you guys. Like, I've limited the amount of sponsored posts that I'll do on a time basis per, per month. And then also, I only work with brands that only ever will work with brands that I truly support or think that at least some of you will see value in. So, mark my words, I've said it before, I'll say it again, but you know, you are the boss of your own wallet. Really, that's it. And if it still bothers you, the beauty of social media is that you can mute the F out of me. All right, I've said my piece. Eventually. Okay, next one. I have so many battle wounds from the fences that I've had to jump over with different photographers just to get certain shots. I wish I could say it was worth it. Exhibit A, we have exhibit B here. This guy. All right, next behind the scenes moment. All of these photos have one thing in common. Can you guess what it is? Yep, my mom took them. Nothing fancy, thank you mom. This one in particular was really funny to me because I mean, I guess it turned out nice, but my brother was so impatient with me. Like, he was getting so frustrated. But like, for me, I really want, like, you know, I want the lighting to be right, I want the angles to be right. I like try and put a little bit of artistic thought behind it. He was having none of it. Okay, so these were just a few that I just casually growing through my photo roll thought were kind of funny to share. But almost every single picture has some pretty silly backstory that's probably very different than the final result that you see. Ultimately, like I said, social media is, it's a very strange place. It's so one-dimensional. And it can be, it really can be a great tool if you allow it to be one. And it can also be a pretty, um, a pretty dangerous tool if you allow it to be one. If you need to take a break from it or set time limits for yourself on social media, do it. Please do it. Your, your mental health matters more than 
more than almost anything. And if you're somehow negatively affected by by a particular account's content that they're putting out, that's also important to know. And, and you have the ability, you have the control to either mute them or unfollow them or, or both. Heck, I've done that plenty of times, right? I just felt like someone was just being so, um, was just kind of weighing down, just draining my energy. And that's that's really the beauty of social media is that you can't you can have your own relationship with it and one that's entirely yours and one that, that should, in theory, benefit you. So with that, on a positive note, I'm gonna check out for the day. I love you guys, thank you for watching. Ciao, nos vemos.